Smith also took his camera up the North Fork of the Clearwater River to capture on film the last of the log drives. Idaho saw many great river drives, but one in particular holds a special place in history, the drive down the North Fork of the Clearwater River. This drive occurred annually for nearly 50 years. For many of its final years, it was the only major whitewater drive in America. Some of the scenes were from Walt Disney Productions, which had turned the outtakes from another logging show over to Potlatch. But it was up to Smith to shoot uh, the close-ups and put it all together. Degrees. Out of this 10,000 feet, they were all long shots and no close-ups. And they said, well, Helen, write a script, and you put cut it, George, and the close-ups are one-third of it, and the long shots are two-thirds, and that's how the footage came about. I thought it was a, I thought it was a tremendous challenge. Uh, we're uh, standing right alongside Disney here, and our stuff has to cut in with it. The shore crew's basic tool was the peavy, a long steel-tipped pole with a hinged hook. The men used it to wrestle logs back into the current, and also for support to help them keep their footing in the fast-moving current. But whether a man was in a boat or on the shore, it was cold, uncomfortable work. Spring of 1971, the Wanigan made her last trip downriver. When she was dismantled and stored for the last time, an era came to an end. America will probably never see the likes of a great whitewater river drive again. At 75, George spends his hours viewing his films, cataloging them, and cleaning them. Some of his 40 or so films are little more than museum pieces now, but some of them can still make us smile, can still connect us to a vanishing item. The Sawtooth, the wild mountains, on a spring morning on the way to breakfast, you look out at the earth, you think and you wonder. You like this western country and the way it looks. You think about your airplane, how it flies and how it lands. You think about the air breakfast and the people. You think about good cooks and food. You've been awake for two hours. You've come across three mountain ranges and two forests and you're in time for hotcakes. You're suddenly aware of the importance of food. You think about happiness and what it is. The coffee is supposed to float nails or horseshoes. And it has to taste good to a Salmon River man, a man with all out of doors in his heart. They make the coffee in wash tubs. They boil it and stir it and test it. This business of making the coffee goes on and on. Chalice has a reputation for a genuine sense of fun and for real good coffee, too. Back in the air, you think about your airplane and how it flies. You think about how fine it is when people get together. You remember the laughing and smiling faces you saw all day long. You look west through a spinning clock. You look up into a big evening sky and wonder where it goes. 